Welcome to Lead Stories, where we talk to some of our students who have gone through our courses. And this today, particularly, I'm talking to Amy, who is a Sutan Yogi. So from the corporate world, she now does yoga full time with her business. And I'm here to chat with her and to discuss different types of uh, the way she, she built a business the marketing strategies you have to use and also to learn more about Amy. So Amy, maybe you'd like to introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Amy. As Ruben mm-hmm. said, I'm a Sutan Yogi. So I was a, a corporate person for about 24 years, uh, focusing mainly on marketing, planning and sales in the property development mm-hmm. industry. Um, and then I... I, I left to pursue something that was more fulfilling inwardly, which is uh, a lot to do with wellness. So I'm now a yoga instructor. And before COVID, I was also doing corporate training. But of course, now that's out of the question. Now. So right now I'm doing teaching yoga full time. Uh, I teach online. I also mm-hmm. teach uh, in person. So now that we can have small gatherings already, I've also mm-hmm. resumed classes in person now. So what, what's, the, what's the switch like from, I mean, what's the experience like doing online yoga? <laughs> oh my God. So, okay. Um, so before I took up uh, Growth Marketing 360, okay. uh, which I, so I started Growth Marketing 360 in November, 2020. Yeah. Quite uh, quite long, uh, yeah. Well, a couple of months ago, and then we were supposed to, So we were supposed to have physical classes last November, but of course we didn't, but we've been doing online classes week by week, right? Uh, Mm. Might have been a blessing for me because uh, I get it in bits and pieces. So it's not one shot everything, right? (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, well, just just to let everyone know, I am born in the 70s. Mm. So this digital marketing thing to me is fairly... Alien, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I so um in this course, I know I've been asking you, Ruben, many, many, many questions, and you've been very, very supportive. And thank you for that. The support is nice. really, really very good. Um uh I sometimes I, I remind myself of, of my boss. Uh. So but when I started working back in the mm. 90s, right? Uh I started working in 1996. Back then mm. We didn't even have personal computers. One office, we maybe had uh, two computer computers and it was shared. So if anyone listening to this is old enough to remember, before even a shared computer, we had to share typewriter. Mm. Like one <laughs> office, maybe you have two typewriter, you know? And, wow. and that, is, that is how you write formal letters and stuff like that. Yeah. So... Um, um, uh, when when I started working, it was like that. So I remember back then my bosses, right? There was one. There was one day, like some a few years after we had our own computer on our desk, on our workstation, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember my boss then, who was like, um, maybe twenty years older than I am. And then one afternoon, right, he just suddenly he called out to me, Amy, Amy, Amy. Then I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? I ran into his room, right? And then he's like, he pointed at his computer. What it, what's this now? What's wrong with this? And then okay. and then I thought I went over and then I looked at his screen. I'm like, oh, escape. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah, yeah. So now I am like him, you know. It's it's like my turn to become that kind mm. of, you know. Yeah, but thank God for the support that uh you have given. It's been great. And and uh I have picked up uh somewhat some some um, information and some skills here and there and in fact my my experience in online teaching to even dare to venture into online teaching mm-hmm. uh, it was actually because I I it was actually because I studied I took up digital marketing mm-hmm. it's not it's not that I didn't dare to teach online it's just okay. that um, as a marketer right yeah. Uh, I knew that I cannot just at 
advertise um, having a, an online course and that's it. There has to be mm. a marketing plan. Uh, there has to be follow-up. There has to be uh, automations on way to do things. Otherwise, right. how am I going mm. to handle? So I, I have some foresight in that I know that if I'm going to start online, there has to be some knowledge and skills to support my, my administration, uh, so-called yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and without uh, Growth Marketing 360, I totally was lost. I don't know where to start. And that's why for 2020, right, the whole year since COVID hit, since Malaysia was locked down on 18th of yeah. March, mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. I just sat the whole year through. Until uh, yeah. end of 2020, I... Um, I decided that this is not going to go anywhere as in I, I really, really need to acquire some uh, digital marketing skills in order mm -hmm. to, to, to move forward. Lah. Yeah. So I asked a, a very uh, good friend of mine and then she recommended mm -hmm. uh, Ruben. And so I made contact and I asked 10,001 questions. Uh, and as usual <laughs> yeah because I was I'm very slow right so I know my mm. problem and and uh, I know it was going to be a very difficult journey for me but then uh, I was assured and then I signed up and then true enough like, the support is there and no regrets so right now um, I've been teaching online since 13th of January okay okay um uh, in this short two to three months, um, uh, the, the, the learning and growth process has been tremendous, both in terms of uh, uh, setting up a system for myself, as well mm -hmm. as uh, acquiring proper uh, and good quality equipment, lah, like like a MacBook. <laughs> 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 and some okay. people some people will say you, yeah, yeah, but um, I've I've I, the, the, I bought the latest MacBook because uh, I've had two previous window-based laptop and they mm. just weren't producing the, the right uh, kind of video quality. Um, right, I, right, right. And also because the video quality, I needed good video quality because okay. I wanted to use some as content on YouTube, which is also, uh, well, I mean, one of the reasons I'm doing that is because uh, I, I also learned in GM360 that content is king lah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean content. I mean digital marketing is not just social media. That's for sure. Uh, there's a, actually a lot of hard work behind in in terms of building content, building credibility, hmm. right. uh, and continuity, and as well as uh, organic growth. So, hmm. yeah, these are the things I love, which is very true. Um, even back in the days when I was doing marketing without all this digital stuff. I mean our right. our our analog marketing, so called print print hmm. marketing. Yeah, um, I think the the principles of marketing remains the same. Uh, yeah. It's just yeah. that the platform and the application might differ. La. So I'm hoping hmm. that learning these new skills on how to use the new platform, uh, I can tap onto my experience. So hopefully none of it goes to waste. I can still use some of it. <laughs> Right. moving forward right you, you came from a marketing background right so uh when you pick up digital marketing i'm curious to know what sort of like what are, what are some things you felt like was wow like like totally different or something that shocked you something that is totally different that you didn't expect to encounter when it comes to learning digital marketing um <clears throat> definitely uh things like keyword uh, mm, uh SEO, meta tagging, stuff like that. that are, of course, non-existent in the print world. Um, so to, to even understand how that works, right? How, mm. how that affects, what, what kind of impact? Mm. Uh, I still don't really know completely. Lah. I don't un really understand the, the back end of it. I, all I know that is important. And that Google relies a lot on, on, on uh, content uh, or mm. words to, to, to right, rank. Right. Yeah, that I know. But how they do it in the back end, I, I, I still mm -hmm. don't have a clue. So that, that, that's something that's very strange to me. Right, mm. right. Okay. Um, you see, when, you, when, we, when, when you're set up with your online teaching, right? What is your current setup like right now? I'm just curious. Um, 
what what equipment do I use? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What equipment do you use? Uh, okay, I use an uh, earbud, a good earbud. Okay. Uh, okay. this is a job a Jabra, and yeah, then. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, so I I mean I've I've experimented also. This is like my third pair of earbud. Oh. Nah. So I bought okay. two really cheap ones from Shopee, which works. Mm. It works, but then in terms of clarity, um, not so lah. So mm. and then I also I also have uh had two window based laptop. Uh, I have okay. bought a a a a webcam, um, not a very good one, um, mm. but then the the window based laptop and was uh. The, sadly, the camera wasn't great lah. Cause I'm 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 used to mm. using a Mac, and I had a very old Mac. So of course mm. the video quality is not as good. And I thought that yeah. to save cost to buy a cheaper laptop, I got the window base. But then eventually, I'm now using mm. a Mac, uh, the latest MacBook, and mm. I would say that my my setup is, uh, quite satisfactory lah. I mean I, I can't no complaints lah for now. Of course, can be better lah. Right, right. So you basically just use uh, a pair of earphones and a computer to run your online classes. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So what would you say to someone who wants to do, uh, wants to start their own online classes or their online business as well? Is that all they need, or in your experience, you think they need something else extra as well? No, not really. You, uh, this is this is good enough. I mean, I've been running like that for for some some weeks already. Right, yeah, right. yeah, and uh, uh, my living room is quite small actually, but okay. I found I found an angle to make it look neat and tidy la. So my mm. my living room is basically now my studio la, my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of experimentations on your end. A lot, a lot. Um, uh, adjusting, moving here and there, finding the best angle. But in right. terms of setup equipment, it's just these two these two things. Yeah. Mm. So you, you went from like, you know, uh, well, let's just say you went from zero to starting off something and doing something totally new, right? So mm. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are in the same shoes as you were um, five, six months ago, right? What do you mm. think is the biggest challenge for, for, for those people, right? To start their mm. online business or to start something online? I think the biggest challenge to start anything Okay. Is, yeah. is procrastination. <laughs> procrastination. Is, is thinking too much. That means uh, thinking unnecessarily ahead of... Uh, so my advice is uh, mm. don't think, just make the first step. And then um, my first class, I remember, uh, mm. <laughs> I, I was so nervous. Like I'm, I'm teaching yoga, right? I'm supposed to be really right, zen, right? right? But yeah. I wasn't zen at all. Okay, I was worried that <laughs> this was not working. That was not working. But if you you see, if you don't take the first step, you yeah. will not learn and you will not uh, uh, improve on on it. Mm. So it's I, I believe it's something unavoid unavoidable lah. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Okay, it's, so it's uh, always it's, procrastination. Making and making mistakes mm. or on not not being perfect. Even if you don't make mistakes, but you find that you are not up to where you are expecting, uh, that mm -hmm. is something that should not stop you la, and, and cannot be avoided. La. Has, you have to go through it la, to learn. Now, okay. now I'm perfectly comfortable, like, like totally at ease already, no, no, no worries anymore. Yeah, even, even sometimes mm -hmm. when the, my earbuds uh, run out of battery because I forgot to charge, like now it's actually running low, right? Okay. Uh, I, I, I know what to do because I've experienced that and then I have gone oh. through the uh, I've like kalam <laughs> kabot but now I've I've gone through that I know okay if this runs out what I can do my backup is there la. Mm. I see I think it's a practice of doing it again and again bit by bit drip by drip that gets you comfortable with the whole activity of doing it uh, and yeah I think a lot of uh, people they have procrastination they, they tell themselves things that it's not true and mm. they just they'll simply get started with whatever they want to do. La. So good on you. You actually gone through that phase and now you're doing things you have not done like six months ago. Unbelievable. Because if you ask me this six months ago, right, I'll tell you it's not going to happen. No? <laughs> so it actually is quite, quite a, I mean, a pat on the shoulder for myself. Like, it's quite a, yeah, a, I would say a, so. a step. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a bit about how you started. Um, let's call it yoga dose right now. Right. 
mm. got those already, yeah. You got those dot com, eh, dot co, sorry, dot co. Yep. Uh, when you first started marketing it, right? What do you do? What's the the one thing that lead to traction? Ah, okay. So learning from you also when I started, mm-hmm. uh, when I started my online class, right? Um, so yeah. the 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 motivation came just like that. So on 13 January, we went into second lockdown. And mm. without hesitation, because by 13 January, I was already in GM 360 for about two months. Uh. Yeah. Uh, one month plus. Uh, one month plus. Mm. So 13 January came. I didn't think. I just went in. I launched a two-week free online class every day from 13 to 26 of January. Oh, so it was 14 days. 14 days. Okay. Um, okay. Why I did that was because uh, uh, I wanted to provide uh, an avenue or a platform for people mm-hmm. to um, adjust into the second lockdown. Because after having going, going through the first lockdown, of course, second lockdown, we, we already, mm. we, all of us already um, been through one and we are not so shocked anymore. Yeah, but the f- yeah, yeah. yeah, but the fact that um, everybody has to uh, stay at home again, uh, which means mm. everybody had to readjust again and also everybody had time. Mm. So I did um, a one hour class every day for uh, two weeks at 5 p.m. And my classes right now is still at 5 p.m. So um, how I advertise or marketed that uh, uh, was through communities on Facebook. And mm-hmm. one, one community in particular, uh, uh, I got a lot of, actually most of my students now are from there. La. Uh, and these are people that I don't know. They, they sign up for the free classes and then okay. they continue to pay for classes now. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you went out cold hunting into all these groups uh, on, on Facebook and then you started posting there saying that you have a free class. And then yep. somehow convert them into students. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, of course, not, not, not a huge amount of them, but right. there were um, not bad. Like, I was surprised also. And they continue to, they have, so now they are like, uh, they have renewed classes at least two or three times already. Hmm. Hmm. I yep. think they find value in probably the, the classes that you hold. Um, so yes, the feedback. So, okay. When I did that two week classes, mm. right. Even though I didn't charge, I, I said, um, you know, um, it would be great if you can give me some uh, feedback. So I, I sent, I, I gave them a link to a Google form that I created. And then okay. I mm. asked questions that I, uh, about, uh, the class, um, about what they like, what they don't like. I, I was very mm. open. I wanted to know, um, yeah. mm. and, uh, uh, some of them did reply and wrote uh, in detail what was it that um, they enjoyed. Um, uh, actually, most, most of them who attended uh, enjoyed the class. Um, they, the, the common, so the common feedback was um, they were always afraid of trying yoga because they, they, it looked so difficult. But when they mm. attended my class, they felt that, oh, actually, I also can do, you know. Um, and they also said that, uh, so this is another thing that surprised me. <clears throat> uh, mm. I have, mm. actually, I have two lap- laptops set up, two, two, two angles. So one is the new Mac, one is my uh, very old, the first generation MacBook Air. Um, but okay. I use it for clarity. Somehow, mm. I had the foresight that such one angle people cannot see uh, properly so I had two angles and then uh, that is one thing plus they said my instruction giving was very clear mm, okay. uh, even though so even though it's online they they understood very well what to do next so in terms mm. of that they had clarity and that helps a lot um, in making the class more smooth right, right, yeah. right. yeah. So uh, okay, what what I did was was that like, Just on one one or two groups on Facebook, okay. Um, I managed to gain some traction. Yep. Were, were there any negative comments? No, not really. Uh, negative. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I mean, when you start posting on those groups, right? Uh, sometimes, inevitably, sometimes people will be quite nasty. You know, have you experienced that kind of thing? Oh no, no, no! Actually, this particular group, uh, members are very supportive. Mm. Um, it, and then even like after I finish my two week free class, right? right. Then mm. some of the people sign up for paid classes. Uh, I continue to share on the same community, lah, but. Of course, uh, when it's paid classes, the response is not not that great, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, but those who attended my free class, they actually supported me in that they 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 commented on subsequent posts and say, oh, I really enjoy uh, blah, yeah, blah blah blah. So yeah. By Amy. Okay. So um, I think I think what you shared is very interesting. Um, whereby you you know a lot of people when they start their own online business, right, or whichever business they start they have this inclination to run paid ads immediately, you know, and, and run ads on Facebook and Google and try to get sales on there. But what you did was a very organic approach. You went into Facebook groups and figure it out from there. So I think that was interesting to, to see that you have found some traction that way. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised too. Uh, I wasn't, mm. actually, I had no expectation. I, I was just mm. thinking, um, so when I, when, I, when I decided to start the class on 13th of January, right? Right, right. Um. Uh. My my thought was uh, um. No harm. Let's just share this. If nobody turns up, nobody turns up, lah. Yeah. 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 And then <laughs> by surprise. So um. Actually, that that particular post, right? Um. Uh. I asked them to private message me or email me. Mm, mm. Uh. Actually, there was a whole bunch of people, right, who asked me to PM them, who I couldn't handle because. I replying to those who wrote to me already was enough. And then right. to arrange for the day-to-day classes. And then there was another big chunk of them who actually commented PM, 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 asking <laughs> me to contact them. So right. it was not right. possible. No. So, yeah. Mm. And then, another thing you shared that I really like is, uh, you know, when you said um, people were scared of, of yoga because they thought it's very hard to do. And then maybe after the first or second class, they decide that oh, it's not that hard after all, right? So uh, that is what I call uh, uh, a quick win, right? So like in in Grow Marketing three hundred and sixty, right? The quick win was to get that ten ringgit. I'm, re- I'm not sure if you remember that the activity, right? Yes. So yes. yeah, yeah. So the activity was before this. We don't have the activity in the in the course. We put that in because we realized that. People need to see a quick win to get motivated to do even more. So once they see like, ah, oh, this is possible, I actually can get something out of uh, digital marketing, right? Then yeah, then I'm gonna do something more. What do you think of that quick win thing? Uh, I think it's great. I think that is exactly what I meant by is is what I said about not thinking and just do it. The quick win thing it also requires that if you're gonna sit there and think, right? Yeah, will I get or not? Will I get or not? Then you're actually wasting time. You should just do it, and if you don't get, then you you think of the next step. Then, but right, right, that, right. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's a great. Uh, also, to, I mean, a lot of people are shy and they're shy, not huh? they're not asked. Um, or most people who have never done this. I mean, for me, I'm a marketer. Mm. I mm. I'm used to. I'm used to things like that. We also used to, back in those days, we do door-to-door. We canvas. So a bit, a bit of thick face. Uh. Very thick face. Not, not, not. <laughs> they chew you away, you know, like, 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 like flies or like that. So for right. me, it's not a problem. But I think for some people, not to be mm. taken for granted, like, if they have never tried things like that before, right? it can be actually quite a big hurdle. Like. True, true. But uh, how, would you, yeah, how would you advise them to get over that hurdle? Don't think, just do. <laughs> don't think, just do. Just do, just do because the first step is the hardest. Mm. Really, the first step, right, looks like a mountain. But behind the mountain, uh, there are just little molehills. So if you can cross that mountain, then it's, you see, oh, it's all just molehills, like no problem. Serious. <laughs> okay. Um, for, for your business, is there any competitors doing the same thing as you? Uh, are you feeling any effect from that? Yes, actually, yoga is a very competitive industry, mm. and the fact that, and the fact that um, it is now online, yeah. the market has definitely shrunk. What I mean by that is, I mean it has shrunk. It has also expanded, okay. okay. Um, 
now that classes are done online, a lot of the famous teachers, the renowned mm. ones, are accessible from anywhere in the world. Right, right. Back in those days, when they have not really gone online, you need to travel to a specific place to 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 learn from them, right? But now, mm. you can actually attend their classes online. I I have done that with with an Australian teacher. I've attended the class online, which was impossible for me to catch him uh, in those days. Mm. So in that sense, and then, uh, what I mean by market has expanded is also, I mean, it works both ways, lah. Which means I also have the same reach. Provided, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know how to reach them. Yeah, I, th- I think I think the digital world has made it more accessible for all of us to gain things, and also at the same time, it's it's a double edged sword, like, You know, in a way that yeah. it also creates uh, oversaturation with so many choices in the market right now. Right. Hmm. So the the okay. the challenge for me really is to carve a specialty, a niche. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So what, what what you would say is your USP or that that special thing about you for students to go f- for your courses or, or uh, what is your special source or what is that value that you bring to students? Your um, unique angle, the differentiator in you. Um, I, I I watch out for each of them, even though it's on. I mean, of course, in person, I definitely do. But, uh, but I mean, even on screen, I, I watch the screen closely and I, I'm i making adjustments verbally. So right. My, right. my specialty is actually uh, posture and alignment. I don't... Posture and alignment, okay. Yes, I don't... Um, I, I look at how the, each student's standard is and then mm. I... I I can create on the spot variations for them. Like we all have different flexibility and different strength, True. right? Yep. And also mm-hmm. our body on one side and on the other side may also vary in terms of strength and flexibility. On top of that, we all have uh, um, uh, physical issues. Yeah. So, um, so uh, in the very individual also, um, I, I pay attention to each and every one of them. And right, right. the most important thing about that is I don't want them to rush. I don't want them to hurt themselves. And uh, most of all, I want them to feel that they can do it. Um, the worst thing that can happen is you teach a pose and people cannot do it and then they feel discouraged. And then over time, they lose interest. But mm. that's not... But that is not uh, not not true. As in, like we all progress at different stages. So um, my classes are like that, and uh, this is the general feedback that I get as well. I mean, th- there are testimonials on my website, which which people can read about, and um, there are a lot of comments that say say this. I um, mean, they describe me as that lah. So I like I to I like to think that that is my USP. For now, hmm. until I find more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think to to summarize the USP right, it's it's more towards that attention and customize the customer's attention and also the way you make people feel. Yes, uh, in the sense that they 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 now can also do yoga. So when they feel better by themselves, then you know they feel good about the whole product. Definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everyone likes to feel like they have accomplished something, right? Who yeah. like. Who yeah. would be motivated to continue if you don't, if you have no encouragement? Everyone wants encouragement. Hmm. So yeah, <laughs> just that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, where can people find uh, your classes? Where can they go? You want to do a shout out? Yes, you can go to www yoga dose as in y o g a d o s e dot co dot co so why yoga dose is because um the dose d o s e is an abbreviation for dopamine oxytocin serotonin and endorphin which are our feel good hormone um which uh, is produced um yeah. when you when you practice yoga in the short term and in the long term I mean, um, we all know that uh, we do sports 
to, yes. to, to encourage the production of those as well as to reduce the uh, cortisol, which is our stress hormone. Mm. Mm-hmm. So um, that's the inspiration behind the name Yoga Dose. So have your dose of yoga. <laughs> that's very very clever actually <laughs> I like it yeah. I love it so much okay so one one last question for you before we end this yeah, yeah. Um, what inspires you to wake up every day and do what you do mm. having a purpose and uh, um, being an inspiration um, nothing motivates me more that, I mean that's the reason why I got out of corporate um, mm. uh, to reconnect with people that's why i went into training teaching yoga so um Mm. nothing fulfills fulfills me more than uh, feeling like i have made a difference even even in someone else's life all right in someone else's life correct right okay thank you so much amy for doing this i think uh the, the talk was very insightful um definitely learned a few things from you and anything else you'd like to add before we... Yes, actually, I want to add one more thing. I want to say thank you so much, Ruben, because uh, a lot of what I did, right, I learned from you. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, so humble. <laughs> definitely, no, that really, um, I mean, even though our age is quite far apart, la, <laughs> but um, um, I learned a lot uh, during the course of G, uh, GM360, Growth Marketing 360, um, in particular, about mm. uh, uh uh, giving first yeah giving right, first. Right, I think right. people have a taste like don't immediately think of charging uh, mm. you must uh, one thing is also I use it to practice and also to let people uh, uh, sample a taste of what it's like so examples you give like uh, um, um, how grab entices people to join membership and how we use coupons and all that so that yeah. that, that gave me the idea to do that two weeks free classes mm. Also, um, uh, in between classes, right, um, when students text me or ask me questions or, you know, ask me where to buy mm-hmm. this or, or, or certain poses, um, um, taking on uh, your style of teaching, uh, I have adopted the same uh, um, approach where uh, I go beyond just the classes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I share whatever I can and help whenever I can. And this really, really was inspired by you. So oh, I've, wow, so humble. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, I've, I've learned a great deal from, from you, not just in terms of the technical stuff of uh, digital, right. but also in terms of how to conduct as a teacher. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, so... Yes, thank you so much. You have been an inspiration and continue to be. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. I'm, I'm, I'm so humbled actually, to be honest with you. Uh, but I think there's a lot of things that uh, has to be done, has to be improved still. Uh, but yeah, it's so encouraging to hear it from, from you. You're welcome. You All right. And thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure to be invited. I hope I'm <laughs> able to inspire more people to... Um, trust and not doubt and just go forward. Mm. Alright, thank you Amy. Thank you.